Okay, Luigi Man, I'm sorry that you don't know who we're talking about. Um, I'll go ahead and explain who it is. Morpheus Robin is William... reading like crazy. <laughs> Morphe uh, uh, Lu Robin Williams, Luigi Man, is well known as originally a stand-up comedian. He was well-renowned of doing very impressive and very amusing impersonations of actual people. Okay, who the fuck? Luigi Man, are you kidding me? You don't know who Robin Williams is? That's why I was explaining it to him. Thank you. Explain it to him. Okay, here's the One clip the notes. He was the genie in the animated Aladdin. Yes, in the animated movie of Disney's Aladdin, he was the character Genie. He also played huge roles of of all kinds of other forms of uh, movies. He was a he was their a version of Peter Pan as an adult in the movie Hook. He also voiced a character an animated bat named Batty from the movie Ferngully. Ah, uh, yeah, that movie. That was a thing. It was interesting. Okay, the funny thing is, I have the full the full music of the Batty rap, and thinking back on the and like paying attention to the full song, it was like, you know, this song's kind of dark. Yeah, because he was an experimental bat. That's why. Yeah, because in the movie Fern Gully, he was a bat that escaped from a experiment, a biology lab. Yeah. And his song was relative was extremely dark. It was worse when you read the full when you listen to the full song. I was like, uh uh Dark Get me another one. <laughs> Get me another one. Get me another one. Get and then there's that animal. lizard and then there's that fucking lizard who sounded like Oh, I forgot who voiced that character. You sounded like I know Duke who you're Cummings. talking about. I know it's not no, that was the smoke. And that was, uh, the one you're thinking about, that's the smoke, and it was voiced by, uh, um, Terry Tim McGinnis. Curry? No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. I'm talking about the lizard. Yeah, I know, I know the lizard, but that wasn't, uh, Jim Cummings. That was somebody else. No, I said I the think... lizard sounded like Jim Cummings because he had a very deep voice. He sounded oh. like, he sounded like Razul. Yeah, that's, it's not him. He, um, it was voiced by an actual rapper. What the fuck? I don't remember who it was. Crap! I need to look what this up now. Happened? But yeah, I know who you're talking about, Golden. Some of those, uh, I will say this though. Some of the songs from Ferngully are, are, are it sound it sound like songs that you would listen to when having wild sex. <laughs> you mean Hexus's song, Toxic Love? Yes. I'm gonna have this <laughs> massive unpopular opinion here. I hate toxic love. <laughs> it's, it's I a... don't blame you, honestly. Yeah. No, I mean, like, it's... people love that song because of Tim Curry and shit, but it's just... It's more like a tryhard, and it really puts a bad image on rock music. Because it's got that yeah. blues sound you'd hear from, like, Funk 49 and, like, bands who were uh, into the blues rock and such. Like, it... Ugh. No. Eh, I've heard worse. <laughs> yeah, the whole. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I've heard fact, worse whole, too, um... but still, it irritates me. Let's see. Um. Ah, oh, logic left. I think you went to the FKA. FKA? You mean AFK? AFK. You know what I mean. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm trying to remember. Oh, there was another one. I don't remember who sang this one, but this happened in the movie. It was called A Dream Worth Keeping. I really love that one. That one's like a very soothing, sweet song. You seen uh, Dead Poets Society? Oh wait, never mind. Uh, oh, but yeah, the one thing that I don't like about Fern Gully is um, eh, that most of the most of the soundtrack, uh, it also um, it, like tries so hard to like mock many of the popular uh, music genres, like like what Fox <laughs> said about, about Toxic Love. Yeah, it's just it, like it's it's. I don't mind if they're gonna do a parody of something, but other times there's just, there's just wrong ways of doing it. I I do have t like respect for Tim Curry. Don't get me wrong. I just fucking hate that song. Yeah, it's fair enough. Yeah. He actually did a few other songs that some I'm actually surprised there's nobody's gotten into as much as others. Cause he's got a great singing voice. I, like I'm um, just a sweet transvestite. Transvestite. Transsexual. <laughs> Transylvania. That 
time song makes me laugh still. <laughs> I want to see. I don't know why, but I want to see a. Uh, but I want to see a collaboration with him and uh and Billy Joel. <laughs> oh. How did you awesome. I? See so you met my. Fuck. What's the third line? Damn. Apparently, I got booted from the call. You didn't get booted from the call, you were AFK. No, that's what I mean. Oh. Oh. Because Same you were thing. quiet. You were quiet for a while. Yeah. Okay. Don't get strung out. Da -da -da. Fuck. I gotta look up the lyrics of the song. Don't I judge a book it by too. its cover. There was a there was a good number of songs. I probably don't remember the full lyrics of as well. Like that one from Little Shop of Horror. Is that the movie with Rick oh, Moranis and Bill Murray? I believe so, yes. It's that one with the pl man-eating plant. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> I don't remember all the songs, but I do remember that plant used to scare me when I was a kid. There's a festival in Napoli dedicated solely to thanking dogs for their loyalty and prep. Oh, my God. Oh, there's another good soundtrack I recommend is, um, is The Last Unicorn soundtrack. Guess who composed yes, it? Yes, America. Yes. In fact, when the reason the why they wanted to compose it because they're... flies over the last star That movie. Of that movie it was so feelsy. I noticed. It Very was. It's, it. It was at points. Uh, the thing that I didn't like about that film is that it had some like unusual like scenes. Like there was a three-breasted vulture. There was a tree that oh, was transformed with giant thing. boobs, and I was like. How the fuck did this slip past the like G rating? I mean, good lord! <laughs> and one of the know, characters, right? and one of the characters said, "Damn!" I'm like, how did the G rating still remain? Damn you! <laughs> Where have you been? Yeah, yeah, I, that scene. Yeah, I know um, that one. I'm trying to remember other movies that were like that. They were good animations. And it was kind of surprising with how they prevented the sensory or like the theme behind them. Of course, the there's the ones that are the Don Bluth movies, especially during the Golden Age. Mm -hmm. During the um... war against him and uh, during his war against Disney. <laughs> oh, Don Bluth, yeah. Don Bluth. Yeah, Don Bluth yeah. was. Don Bluth was uh, was at he his was peak on top of his he was on top of his shit in the eighties but the nineties he, he took a was. massive dip yeah he, because yeah because the studios he's been working with uh, were desperately challenging against Disney yes they were they were forcing Don Bluth to uh, uh to do what Disney does exactly. yeah such as Thumbelina <laughs> yeah Thumbelina hey. yeah not to mention they've been hiring uh, the same actors who work with Disney like the and yeah, like, Jody Benson. The same as Ariel. Yeah. And they had Gilbert Gottfried, who was um, Yago. Yeah, as the freaking uh, mosquito, whatever his name is. Yes, yeah. he, he's a beetle. Beetle, yeah. I didn't. I, okay, I knew about that. I knew Gilford voiced the beetle character. I didn't know the voice who voiced the character who. Voiced by Thumbelino, also was voiced by Air by the same did Ariel too. I did not know that. That explains the singing voice. <laughs> Thumbs, I like when movie. I said he dipped, I mean his uh, movies uh, went into bad um, quality territory in the nineties. Like yeah, the uh, like the Thumbelina, Troll in Central Park, and um, what was that movie um, called? Um, it's the one with the chicken. Oh, Rockadoodle. Rockadoodle, oh, yeah. Rock that movie got really fucking weird. I liked that movie. That was actually me and my sister's favorite movie. I do have, Another like, I will them. remember it as one thing. It was the last movie that that Harris guy who was in a lot of the Disney sketch era. Um, yeah. That was his last movie before he died. Sad. But yeah, um, uh, Thumbelina and Rockadoodle, they were like the two that I actually still like to, li to watch constantly because they were some good movies. Oh, yeah. The pebble and the the pebble, pebble the, and, and the penguin, penguin was yeah. okay. Like personally, I didn't it think was it was okay. I didn't think it deserved the zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Like if it, it, it's at zero, it's indicating that it's like the worst movie ever. It's really not. I, I've seen much worse. I agree. Another one that was like one of uh, his successful animations was The Secret of Nim. Yes. Still, oh, like, that, that was his first, and what I still think is his best movie. 
Yeah, you and me both. I don't yes. care what people say. I actually enjoyed it. I, it was dark, yes, but that was the point. Yeah, no, it was a movie that would treat the uh, kids like adults, like it treated them with so much respect. Yeah, not oh. talk down to them. Oh, yeah. don't forget the uh, don't forget um, American Tale. Oh uh, yes, I that one was so sweet. You're gonna it hate was me for this. But it was... Uh oh. I did not like an American Tale. What oh. have you done? A lot of people lose their shit over this. I didn't like uh, an American Tale because most of the film was just dark. Like, it was dark in the wrong way compared to uh, The Secret of Nim. Um, most of the time, it's Fievel trying to find his family, and he keeps running into these unfortunate mishaps, and it goes on forever. And as a cock tease, he constantly just barely misses his family like it's a running joke. It just feels so mean-spirited. Yeah, he finally uh, finds his family at the end, but it's just more of a sigh of relief. Or just like, thank God it's done and over with, and not like it didn't feel rewarding. Okay, they get okay. Golden, it's not considered dark, in the sense it's more realistic, because this was actually something that would happen to the people of Russia during that whole incident. This was based on the whole migration thing. This is act that's actually real. That actually did happen during that time when they. I can a lot understand of that, but around. it wasn't that entertaining for me. Yeah. Cats in America. <laughs> yeah, and then there's that one moment I remember I saw when it was aired on Cartoon Network, and this was part of the reason why I grew to dislike it. It's when Five O thought that he found his family, and it's this big guy who goes, Rah, you're working for me. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, God. That is so unpleasant to sit through. I know. So, that's. Ow. Jesus oh, Christ. Ow. Sorry. Speaking of unpleasant things, this is also why I like Five O Goes West more blow me oh Bible goes west was an uh, was uh, it was really a lot good. more colorful the songs were much more uh, energetic yeah mm -hmm. i actually did not mind that sequel that was actually one of the few sequels that was one of don blue's work that were uh, enjoyable but they were like worthy of watching over and over again there were some that were not very good oh like i'm sure of it well to the secret of nim Ugh. I'm like, okay, you can I tell they were now. really run. <laughs> and then, let's see, there was another one. Hang on, I need to think back. The secret of meme. Secret of no meme? One said meme. meme? No one said no. meme. No one. Um, i trying to remember. Oh, Anastasia! That was another one that, I'm after Anastasia. the whole... Yeah, after, after the shitstorm. Yeah, old... no, yeah, I remember that. And um Oh my god, that movie was beautiful. It, it like was it was a pretty good movie. Uh there's one movie that I think deserved a little bit like I so personally I didn't think it deserved like it did not deserve to flop. That was Titan A E. Eh Titan, Titan AE A E was, is was fine. It was well, a fifty fifty with me. Yeah. It was compete it felt like it was like a competition against Treasure Planet. In a way. Yeah. Treasure Planet came out like two years afterwards. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Titan yeah. AE came out in 2000. What kind of timeline are you in? Oof. Funny. Okay. Funny Oof. thing is, people still think Anastasia is a, is considered a Disney movie. I'm like Anastasia's <laughs> not Disney. Well, considering well, that Disney bought Fox. Yeah. Still. Disney bought Fox. You do realize that. <laughs> yeah, but it's still technically not Disney. <laughs> I still hate that. It was the same case when people mistook Thumbelina as a Disney movie. Um, just because the animation looks similar and the voices are from the same cast of from previous Disney movies, that doesn't mean they are Disney. Wow, ah! Jesse, you're fucking Disney. triggered. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest. I'm I hate it when people. It. Yeah, I'll be honest. I hate it when people like compare. Uh, uh... Uh, compare and include other like movies that are not Disney. They think that they were animated by Disney, like Land Before Time. Fuck! Like, like, okay, guys, yeah. seriously, you think Land Before Time was animated by Disney? No, Don fucking Bluth made that. No, and no. it's yeah, Don Bluth fucking made Land Before Time. Yeah, that was not Disney. That was under up a until Universal milked the shit out of it with it with. Oh sequels. yeah, no, it got oh. into a massive sequelitis. Okay, and then again the TV cool. series. Yeah, one sequel was fine enough, but they kept going with the sequels. So like, okay, can, can we take a break on the sequels, guys? Seriously? 
There's um, so um, much you could do with that. You wanna know why they, they they even did a TV series and they only lasted for one season. Gee, I wonder why. They were running out of ideas. <laughs> and you didn't need, need to do with Land Before the Time. Like, like, after the first Land Before Time, you didn't need the sequels to begin with. Exactly. It also irritated me that it turned into a musical. I'm like, <sighs> the Land oh, Before Time. Yeah, I no, I did not need more. that. There was a, okay, I, I remember there was another one, and its sequel was not so bad to me, at least. Um, mm. All Dogs Go to Heaven. Yes. No, wait. Yes. Okay, That's the original I like, the sequel I fucking hated. Yeah, the sequel was, it, it's an okay, I wouldn't re-watch it. It was fine to watch a few times, but I definitely enjoyed the original. Yeah, I like the original one, too. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, that was another <laughs> the good beginning. Movie. Okay, that the beginning movie from that Adult movie. Adult made. Yeah, the beginning of that movie still makes me laugh. Morpheus? <laughs> Morpheus TMNT was a musical, and it was fucking horrible. Yes. Was it because it was done in a in a Barney Barney style? Yeah, now yes. that was just like, ugh, god, dude. I was like, okay, what were you trying to prove with this? You guys telling me that nobody got a gift uh, for Splinter? <laughs> Kiss my ass! Doing? How can you fuck? Oh, speaking of Ninja Turtles. Okay. Okay, speaking of Ninja Turtles, who here remembers the old 80s ones? Yes. The TV series or the movie? The movies. Okay, the first movie I watched, and I actually still like it. Can't say much about its oh. sequels because I haven't seen them. I am not going to watch the third one. I've already seen the plot for it. I've seen enough. Okay, the second one, to give you an idea, it's actually not as bad. It acts as a pretty effective follow-up. Oh, I'm sure of it. One. It's just that the third movie is just complete ass. Yeah, the third one's not really all that good. I'm not gonna lie. But the first one, I still love that movie to pieces. I will never get tired of that movie. I don't care what people say. I don't care if it's old. It was a classic. Yeah. Bossa Nova! Bossa Nova? Chevy Nova? <laughs> I love to Donnie that part in the movie. Oh, God the only thing Donnie. the only thing I liked about uh, team the, the the third Ninja Turtles movie was it was freaking um it happens at the end of the movie where freaking um was it um Splinter just it just references a a, a scene from Elvis and he's just oh. like he just goes like just like Elvis and Blue Hawaii like, I saw it on Gaywood. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh so much. Um, there was a lot of movie. Okay, it was thanks to the first Ninja Turtle movie is where I, <laughs> it's where I enjoyed that one particular song that they use in the oh, earlier in the movie. Um, the man, na 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 na. Oh, tequila. I yeah, I forget what it was called. But tequila. the way they they're ba -da 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 -da. Well, their, their take on it was actually really funny to listen to. <laughs> every time I think of the tequila hey, song, very, every time I think of the tequila song, song, I think of that fucking scene from the Sandlot when they're on that wheel and they throw yes. up on each other because they took the chewing that chewing tobacco. Movie. Fucking morons. That oh, was actually okay. That movie was like one of the few that I still enjoy watching. Both me and my sister enjoyed that movie. A oh, lot. I'm sure it is. Cause uh, okay, my favorite quote. My headphones fell out. No, uh, the scene no! that the scene that both me and Bliss uh, love the most is when they have that uh, uh they uh they encounter their rivals and they argue. Um, yes. Th they call each other names. You play ball like a girl. Oh yeah, no, it's like, watch a jerk. Shut up, idiot. Moron. Pus eater. Fart smeller. Pus liquor. You bob apples in the toilet and you like it. You play ball like a you girl! You play ball a girl! What did she say? You heard me. You heard me. Tomorrow, <laughs> noon, at our field. Count on a pea drink, you crap face! I love that scene so much! <laughs> it's like, oh, best punch That is so punch juvenile. Ever. It's juvenile and it's satisfying. It's fucking glorious. It is. Oh man, I never got tired of that scene. 
that was actually like I think that was like the first um live action movies that I s remember watching a lot when I was a kid. Uh huh. I was never one of those that got into unless it was Disney. I never really got into non Disney related live action movies. Hmm. No surprise. <laughs> But there was another one that was, uh, another good, um, live-action, uh, movie series. What, what was it? Which one was it? Oh, it was in my head. Crap! You it know... was in my head! Darn it! Okay, so aside from Star Wars, whenever it came to, like, live-action films, there was one, uh, live-action film that I always loved watching when I was, like, eight, and that was Homeward Bound. Oh, that's a really good movie. Oh, That's yeah. a movie that I would still like. Okay, so I spoke to a wolfhead. He has never seen the movie. <gasps> and here's the more hilarious part. I've actually shown him the river scene. And he's like, what the fuck happened to the cat? Did the cat survive? What the fuck happened? He got so salty. It was hilarious. He's like, what the okay. fuck? Like, every time I watch that movie, I just put with so much suspense because I don't want the poor, and the poor uh, animals to die. I know, right? Well, like, they're, 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 go ahead. Like the uh, like around nearly around the the end of the movie, like uh, like freaking shadows. Was the, was the Labrador. Labrador. Speak of the he... devil. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, what? hey, Wolfhead. Oh, hey, Wolfhead. <laughs> oh man, that was actually another one that was like one of my personal favorite moves. I like what happened at the end with Chance. Turkey! Turkey, 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 turkey. I love that scene. <laughs> I love that. My part of the end. Okay, best ending. Ah, oh, Chance, I love you. F and chat oh, for the cat. Not having... <laughs> and this was love you movie too, Wolfhead. <laughs> and, and this was the movie where uh, where they were just speaking telepathically. Yeah, oh, well, fuck. don't be such a sissy sassy. You know how to swim. I happen to be a champion dog paddler. But Oh, that's, that's cold. cold. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Chance was actually voiced by uh, Michael J. Fox. I know. It's like, ugh, oh god. Right? <laughs> Ew, that's Grandma's cake. <laughs> I remember. Well, I couldn't possibly. Really, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you look at that? More mounds. Well, I'm just gonna sit there over here and just wait oh, for the bus. Oh, here's an interesting fact. That dog that they used to play as Chance. Yeah. Did you know they actually used that dog in another movie? What? Little Rascals. Oh, same shit. Same dog. Really? Interesting. It's the same dog. He was, uh, Petey. Same now that's, dog. like, stuck in my head. <laughs> 